Yo, what's going on guys? Um, I'm not talking as loud because I finally figured out the correct mic settings. I hope it sounds okay. Uh, you know, I'm still playing around with it a little, but basically I need to, you know, when I'm working with my FD over there, when it starts up, I got to really make sure I have the, uh, the mic settings on correctly because the car's pretty loud and it blows out all the audio. But yeah, it definitely, I hope my audio has improved a lot. And, uh, you know, after reviewing the last footage, it definitely has. It's just when it gets loud, it just sounds terrible. So anyways, uh, if you guys saw in the last video, my FD wasn't doing so well. It's only running on three coils, three spark plugs. It's not good. So I need to go to Sake Bomb right now and go get another coil, which they have in stock as well as maybe a spark plug too. We'll see. Uh, probably my spark plug in there is probably done for. So just another day in the 240. I don't know if you guys can, maybe you guys can hear the transmission noise now, hold on. Now that I have this new mic on, maybe you guys can hear it. Can you guys hear that? I, I hope, I, you probably can. It's probably very audible with this new mic. <laughs> you guys can now, you guys can finally hear all the engine noises and bad sounds I'm hearing with, with this new microphone. I'm so happy for you guys. Dude, I had to park in a red zone. I had to park in a red zone because there's so many, how many cars they have? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Bro. Jesus Christ, there's so many. <laughs> a lot of RX-7s. I haven't seen this many in a minute. There's Chris. Big shout out, man. He built, he built most of my car actually with the turbo stuff, but I realized I need a spark plug too from them. They have the auto light ones that are run. They're super cheap, so. But they got the, bam, coil right here. Right when I called, within an hour of me coming, he had the coil ready. So, very good service, awesome. Um, it's good to know, it's good to have like a shop you can rely on. They also like, they stock a ton of parts. So like, I don't know, like something like burns or something breaks, like a like, really like special part or something that's like, you know, not, not like you know oil or like a spark plug or something like that that you can just get at like AutoZone, but like specialized parts for the FD, like such as the you cannot find this in AutoZone. New parts, got these uh, cheap spark plugs and a new coil. Coil was the most expensive part. It was like I think it was like eighty bucks or something like that, but it should fire, you know, because right now my I just I'm, it's not firing at all. So hopefully this will fix the problem. Oh my god, man! I don't have a wind muffler for this uh, this mic. I got to go get. That's an add-on. I have to pay for uh it's a little windy out it's a little windy outside but uh yeah by the time this video drops i mean i'll probably have told my parents which i plan on doing tonight but i uh i got a full-time job offer for uh for this tech company i've been like interviewing for for the past like month and it's been waiting anxiously i went through like four rounds of interviews and like i just got the offer like today and it's like it's I don't know. It's crazy. I don't even know how to explain it, but all my like, it feels like all my hard work like really paid off. And uh, not to say that like it hasn't with YouTube. I think that YouTube really did provide me with like a lot of like fun and e like everything like that, you know, money, not only that, but like the community too, provided me with a community that I felt very close with, car community. And you know, I, I'm saying this because I think a lot of you think that I'm just going to quit YouTube. Uh, I don't plan on doing that. I still have a deep passion for cars cars and car content and everything like that. I love my RXM. I'll never get rid of it. Um, even with this job, I will be posting less, but I'll never forget, you know, I, how, I mean, how could I forget about the one thing that uh, half my paycheck's gonna be going towards. So, you know, that's the thing is like this job, it will take away time from uh, my content creation, but uh, in the end, it will also support it in a way, you know, financially. So I'll still be able to do what I love, um, just a little more comfortably now, because it you know it gets a little gets a little expensive sometimes, uh, especially with the uh, things blowing up. Yeah, that's it's not fun. So yeah, I'm really really excited, and uh, I just want to tell you guys uh, what's been going on and what happened today, and this whole journey of just like interviewing, applying, and all this stuff, uncertainty, like money, everything, you know. And it is a job that I think I would really like. I, you know, I interviewed, I talked with all the peers and everything. I, I think it is a job. It's a Japanese company, so it's, it should be Japanese tech company. So I think I'd fit right in. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's been a journey, man. I, I, I can't wait to start and I can't wait to get that first paycheck and dump it straight into there. <laughs> you know? 
but uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I promise, I promise you guys, I won't, I won't leave. I won't leave YouTube because this is the one thing that I, I've always wanted to work out. Um, and I think it will. I think it will in time. You know, I talked to Griffin about it. You know, the merch is awesome. It's great. Um, but, you know, ultimately, you know, a job will be able to really create all these awesome videos in the future that I have planned now, you know, with the, you know, with the budget basically going way up. Um, it'll, you know, everything will get crazier. So I, I'm, I hope that you guys will stick around with me, even though I won't be posting like every single day. I'll probably, I'll try to post me like two to three times a week at most. But, you know, I really hope that you guys stick around and uh, stick around and, you know, for the journey. So let's get to uh, installing stuff on the car. Sorry, I <laughs> took like three minutes just explaining what's been going on in life, but it's just, there's been so much today. So very happy though, so. All right guys, number one thing you always do when working on plugs, of any sort, any electrical stuff, I usually, I always try to um, disconnect the battery right here. That's uh, that's a first step into safety. So we don't electrocute ourselves, because that'd be unfortunate. All right, so I got the, uh, what the hell? Oh, all right guys, so I got the uh, rail undone, or the um, ignition coil rail undone. I don't know if you guys can see this, but so the leading one is literally, under there, I don't know if you guys see that. Can you see that? It's like right underneath this trailing one on the front rotor. It is literally the hardest one to get to. I mean, they're not hard to get to, but like, if I had to choose which one I wanted to get to, that would be the one I would least want to get to because it's harder to, it's hardest to access basically. So it's okay though. We're just gonna basically pull the wire out and then. Pull the plug out and then uh, replace it with one of these auto lights and uh, hope it uh, hope it all works. Hmm, okay, so I'm currently asking the rotary chat right here. They're typing as we uh, as I film this, but these are the two plugs. So this is the one that was currently in my car. As you guys can see, it's um not doing too hot, and uh, this is the new one. But it has this weird little thing. I don't I don't know what that is. So I don't know if I'm allowed to use that. It just doesn't seem right. So I don't know if I'm going to use it. It's uh it's kind of sus. You know I don't. I don't know what that little thing is. Well, while I can't do the plugs now, I gotta wait till tomorrow. At least I can do the, um, at least I can install the coil. I don't know if I should run the car with a, I don't know if the plug's bad, that's the thing. I think it might be bad, I'm not sure. But, I mean, I don't know how, it can't damage the coil, you know, if the plug's bad. So I think I might as well just replace the coil now. I don't think you have to do the plug and the coil together. Um, so, I think, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see as in like, hopefully nothing blows up. I, I, I just, I don't see how like mechanically the coil could go bad as long as it has like something to spark to. Even if the spark, like the plug doesn't really, it's fouled or something, at least like the spark's going somewhere, you know? And it's not like blowing it up like I did. I just, I blew up my coil when I didn't have them plugged in and they just blew internally. So at least the primary one or the leading, sorry, the leading. Bam, got the old bad, wait, where's the bad coil? This is the bad coil. Wait, is it? No. That's, there it is. I was like, why is there only three? This is a bad one right there. And then here's the new one. Obviously there's no real like external difference. I just know that internally it's blown because it doesn't fire. So we have the uh, new one right here. I'm just gonna slide it on and uh, hope everything works. All right, so we got it all in. Now I just gotta shove, oh, and, uh, I have to put this on with consent. Just throw it on there. And that's, uh, that's all hooked in. So hopefully my system, at least the, I know the coil should fire. I don't know if the spark plug will work, but you know, we'll know if it starts misfiring because we know that the coil's firing and you know, maybe the spark plug isn't firing 100% of the time, but at least it's misfiring, which is good. In this case, obviously misfires are never good, but at least in this one, we'll know that the, the coil is working. All right, you guys know how sometimes my coolant light comes on. So I decided to get some more coolant <laughs> and just kind of add it in. Let's see if the car fires up. But it probably will. It's just I don't. It probably start misfiring. All right, guys. I filled up more coolant, so hopefully, hopefully this. Uh... Hopefully this works. No coolant light so far. Uh, let's see the let's see the AFR. It's definitely gonna be a little richer. Jeff, Jeff likes it rich. He's a, oh my goodness gracious. 
That is freaking rich, man. Well, Jeff, uh, Jeff really likes uh, gassing. I guess Jeff wants all my neighbors to die from carbon monoxide poisoning, but that's okay um, because, you know, it's an RX-7. It's just RX-7 things. Oh my God, that's rich. All right, there's only one thing left to do. And that is, wow, my camera might be dangling around a lot because of the enormous eggplant shaped microphone dangling beneath it. As you guys know, you know, my car's up, or, uh, my camera's upside down right now. So the mic is underneath it as well. And it's just, I think I need to get a new mount because it's just, it's just flopping around. It's dangling a lot right now. It's dangling a lot. So I, we don't, we don't want that. All right, let's, uh, the hardest thing about doing the plugs or the thing today, like getting the plugs out, was not I couldn't use this arm because my arm's just, you know, fresh, fresh, fresh ink. I just got blasted, so um, can't be damaging that. I also can't really get this in the sun, so maybe I should drive a little later. But I also am really curious to see how it runs on a uh, four coils, how it like, you know, it, how it proper, how it should run, a properly running RX-7. Hopefully, I actually, I'm, I'm not sure. Let me roll down the window. No, it's probably wind noise. I don't know if this mic will filter that out. I don't think it will, but if you guys want to hear the raw, I want you guys to hear the raw exhaust noises, you know, coming out of the, coming from the window. Oh shit. Woo. Okay, it's definitely firing now. <laughs> so it was over boosting yesterday. I'm not sure why, but I think it's because maybe it was getting too much air and it wasn't firing. I don't know. It was like, maybe because of primary, maybe because it was only running on three coils. I mean, maybe that's the issue. I'm not entirely sure. I'm, I'm going to check it out real quick. Um, let me, let me flip a quick, uh, quick U-turn right here. cut right there because the fuel sloshed around so so the fuel pump wasn't sucking it enough when I was uh when I was making a, le a completely legal u-turn right there that u-turn was actually I had a permit I had a permit to do that Stop it, Kevin. okay can you guys can you guys see this okay cool so you guys see my boost gauge and everything so like when I do a pull uh, let me do like a second gear pull give me a sec Yup, it's maintaining boost. 11 pounds all the way through, uh, which we tested with the permit that we have gotten today. Uh, oh my God, is that a Supra? Nope, that's a, that's a Z4. Oh my God, man. The camera lens is on. Oh my God, man, this thing is so rich right now. <laughs> it's just so rich. It's okay though, you know? It's, uh, it's good for idle when you idle rich because it, uh, it saves your apex seals and you know, they'll last longer. And we want longer lasting apex seals because happy apex seals that last long uh, don't cost us $5,000 rebuild. So, you know, that's how it is. Big rest in peace, man. Oh my God, it sucks. No, nothing, just the gas. Oh, rest yeah. in peace. I fixed the mic settings too. Eight times you stalled when we were leaving. Uh, I, it was so rich at the start, bro. That's why I kept dying, kept bogging out. Leaving in front of like our landlord just stalled like six times in a <laughs> well, row. I gassed him out, dude. Yeah, I low-key gassed our landlord out. So much like white smoke. Very unfortunate, yeah. Rip, 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 rip. This, uh, this is not racing premix. This is premix to ensure the motor lives longer. Not for racing, not for off-road use. I would never do that. I know. Not race. for off-road use. No, I mean for like you know racing or like track use. I don't. I don't do that. That's just illegal, especially on the street. So, this sensor. The motor lasts longer because we don't want to blow out the apex seals. Because I low key. I push the car sometimes, so you know, it, it gets a little hot in the engine and when you know combust, and I, we don't want to pop one of those seals. I push the car sometimes. Huh? I push the car sometimes. Hey man. <laughs> See if the car starts, please. Let's go. Every time, after a couple tries, it starts up. Every single time, though. All right. All right. Let's hope this tune uh, does well. I hope you know 
I'm expecting a, good things from Jeff. Jeff's a Jeff's a great tuner, so I have a lot of faith in him and his uh, his tuning capabilities. So I also just got a haircut. I got a perm. It's a little too tight for me, but you know, such as it is, it's whatever. You know, shit happens. Uh, it'll loosen out and straighten out over time, but. I personally don't like to be so tight, or the, sorry, the curls, not me, myself. I like it to be loose. I'm a loose person, so. Oh my God, this M3 owner just called me trash and he said my FD's slow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks like we're gonna get caught behind some traffic, so it's a bit unfortunate, but it, you know, it is what it is. Oh my God, dude. Oh my god, Jeff. Jeff, this <laughs> dude, that thing. That thing was spinning tires. Okay, so Jeff definitely opened up. Um, oh, he advanced the timing a little bit, so we're uh, we're going at light speed right now. Uh, we're going pretty fast. I mean, at least like it feels it feels quick. The uh, the boost the boost kicks very very hard. Boost is boost kicks well. I hope you guys enjoy. Maybe you guys will enjoy the new noises from the new microphone. You know, I, I hope that the noise or the the audio is like good now and pleasurable, and you guys can hear me, and I don't have to yell as much. Cause I remember. Oh yes. Later.
rocks all in my face, but it's okay. Man, I'm downshifting sometimes because I don't know when he's going to accelerate. But, uh... And we just made it to the top. Make sure nothing's on fire here. Yep, nothing's on fire, I think. Yeah, nothing's on fire, so we're all good. Um, we made it to the top. Just checking, just checking to make sure nothing, nothing exploded. This car okay? Damn, man. It's alive. Yeah, German car. Yeah, that's right. Do you want one? Huh? Do you want one? Z. I would, lo I would low key buy one. Yo, what is going on, guys? Uh, if you made it to the end of the video, once again, thank you so much. I hope that the audio quality was a lot better this video. Uh, what I noticed was that in the car, it gets a little bit washed out because just the noises are so loud when I'm allegedly driving kind of fast on that private road. Uh, obviously this whole video and microphone setup you know i i did it for you guys so i really want your input on what you guys think i should do i was thinking about maybe just taking the microphone off when i'm in the car uh just so you guys can hear both my voice as well as the engine noises uh since you know the microphone is semi-directional pretty much front facing uh you know i want you guys to hear me but also you know engine noises are also really important too you know i like hearing the engine noises so let me know what you guys think and uh yeah i you know I just want to tell you guys, you know, I got the I got the job and I'm very, very happy. I'm very appreciative and I'm very blessed that I'm able to get this opportunity. And not to say that, you know, this hasn't been an opportunity itself, YouTube. I still want to do it. It'll just be more of a side thing now. Um, but, you know, with this with this new job, you know, I can start doing more stuff to the cars, maybe picking up some new cars and stuff like that. So and I guess in terms it would it's better for you guys too because you guys will get to see crazier stuff and um it'll be better for me because i'll be able to do more stuff that i want to do and then you guys will also be able to see that so very very happy uh very very been very very happy life's been going really well for me so in these this past week uh with all this great news so yeah, i want to share it with you guys and um yeah until the next video guys stay safe and uh yeah peace I'm gonna